Hi, this is Christian Espinoza with Alpine Security. I know taking a cert cybersecurity certification exam can be a daunting task, especially something like the Security Plus. So today I want to share some of my experience on how to best prepare for the exam. I've taken, taken probably uh, 40 to 50 cybersecurity certification exams throughout my career and have passed them. And I'm going to share some of my secrets today. So one of the keys is to set the exam date on your calendar. So go ahead and register for the exam and set the date on your calendar. If you don't actually sign up for the exam or set a date, you will just keep pushing it out and out and out, and you will probably never do it. So put it on the calendar. That's number one. The second thing is work backwards from the date you put it on the calendar and then come up with a plan to study a little bit every day for the exam. And when I say the plan, you should be using what's called time blocks or block time. What this means is let's say you decide you're going to study one hour every day for one month. Uh, so what you do is block that time every day. Figure out what window works for you. Let's say it's between 6 and 7 in the morning every day. You block that time off on your calendar, and that's all you do during that time. 100% focus, meaning you're not going to check email. You're not going to check social media. You're not going to answer the phone. You're not going to watch the news. You're doing nothing but 100% preparation for the exam during that time block or block of time. And that's it, 100% focus. And what you should be doing in that block of time are really four things, and I'll do another video later where I go over those four things in detail. But the four things are reading a study guide. So you're reading some sort of book or some sort of exam cram or exam preparation guide on the exam. So find the latest one for Security Plus, uh, which is 501 at the time of this video, and read that book. So that's one of the things you should be doing in that window. The second thing is taking practice tests. Take as many practice tests as you can find. If you consistently get the answers wrong, go look up why you got them wrong. Uh, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of practice tests. A lot of people just read the book, but if you only read the book, you don't understand how to answer questions that you're going to be presented with on the exam. The third thing is to watch YouTube videos. There are plenty of videos where somebody is explaining it, explains a specific topic on the Security Plus exam uh, that you can absorb uh, visually and auditorily as well. Uh, the other thing is to do labs. So if you do not understand what BitLocker is, for example, uh, you can do a lab on BitLocker. And the reason I say to do these four things is because they really combine all of your learning aspects. You get the visual, the kinesthetic by doing something, and the auditory learning as well. So you get those three ways of learning, which increases your likelihood of success. And the time blocks make sure you are focused because it's very well proven that if you want to maximize your ability to digest something, you need to be focused on it. Uh, I like to use the term monotasking. We've been conditioned to think multitasking is the, is the, is the answer, but it's really not. Monotasking and focus is the answer. So I hope these tips helped. Best of luck on the Security Plus exam. If you have any questions or comments or would like me to do a video on something else, please leave them beneath the video here. Also, we do offer, Alpine Security does offer a Security Plus Boot Camp, which is five days of total immersion. So it's basically a one-week time block. So if you're interested in that, you can uh, reach out to us as well, and I will put that link beneath the video. Best of luck to you. Take care.